Welcome everybody to another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're taking a look at something special. Now, some people might call it a unicorn bottle because they actually had a unicorn release at one time, but this is coming from Preservation Distillery, and this is part of their very old St. Nick series. Sorry, very old St. Nick series. Now, this is the 17-year-old release called the OG. Now, let's give some a little bit of history on it because we've actually reviewed very old St. Nick on a Whiskey Quickie before. Uh, definitely wasn't this. It was just part of their other sourced offerings when they were, uh, you know, they had a long history of exporting stuff out of Japan. And that's kind of what kept this brand alive for a very, very long time. They were bottled at one point at a part of KBD, which is a which is Willet. So they have a, a long history um, be behind these brands. So here is some of the information I could dig up just on this particular bottling. So supposedly Marcy Palatella, who is the owner of the brand as well as Preservation Distillery, she was buying Stitzel Weller barrels way back in the day and bottling them under very old St. Nick in the 90s and shipping them off to Japanese markets. And there are claims that have something, of course, that this was coming from a tanked offering and they've had this juice tanked from Stitzel Weller for around 20 years, which is kind of crazy to think because the way that yeah. Kentucky works is that you have to pay taxes every year on aging spirits. So who knows if they were paying taxes on this for 20 years or if it was vatted, do you not have to pay tax? Like I have no That's idea. That's for the accountants to figure out. Yeah, not exactly. Us. But this is again, a 17 year release cask strength at 108.3 proof. This is a barrel lot, a one and the price for this particular bottle is $600 for a three, seven, five. Mm -hmm. Not surprised. I mean, Stitzel Weller is like the, it's like creme de la creme. The, yeah, it's the best of the best of whatever. Which is weird. It's like we were like, it's the best of the best. And like, well, where is it now? It's like, oh, that it's gone because they couldn't stay in business. You know, it's just, it's one of those things that you look back on like, is it the best? But maybe it's just because it's one of those things of you, you bad can't, timing. You, well, you, if you can't have it, you want it even more yeah. sort of thing. I don't know. Everything I've had is pretty damn good. So. Yeah. And there's something to be said about Dusty's and how long it sat in the bottle. And you can go check out our last episode that we did a past episode on Dusty's where we really dug into it. But let's go ahead and start reviewing this one. So on the nose. Which I'm just amazed by the color. It's that's true. so dark. It looks, it comes in a vermouth bottle and I, it can fool me that it's a vermouth. If, but yeah, it's very, very dark. Yes, it is. It's super, super dark. All right. So onto the nose here. Wow. Ooh. It's like dark cherry. I mean, this is this is like a Luxardo cherry. Hard. Yeah, and I guess I'm like lavender and like... I like that. A little bit of honeysuckle. Yeah, it's like a bath bomb. You know, you just sit in your... You sit in your bath and bubble bath and take up in all aromas. It's like <laughs> aromatherapy. This is, this is like probably the second time I've ever used this. And it's like if you could bottle up this scent and make it into a Yankee candle, I would... I would buy one of these in a heartbeat. Yeah, and then there's that oak note too that's there, but man, a lot of uh, rich, just savory notes coming out. For sure. <laughs> oh, man. All right, on to the taste. There's that black cherry. Oh. Very pronounced. That oak is like really strong. I almost get like a hint of a black licorice note in there. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely some like, uh, like everything I was describing in the bath bomb. It's kind of, you know, like floral, fruity, there's leather, there's, uh, that oak is pronounced. There's just like a lot going on. A little cola kind of action going on too. There's definitely not a sweet oak char character. No, no, no. It it's is, a, it is like a heavy charred oak. Yeah. That's what I'm getting out of it. Yeah. It's like a, I don't know. It, there's, there's so much going on, I can't even describe it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think there's there's a lot going on. I think there's a lot of good flavors, deep, rich, intense. Again, that really strong oak characteristic is there, and I think that's what you get with a 17-year product. Um, and again, it's been vatted for who knows how long. That shouldn't have any effect on more flavors, maybe just more marrying of flavors if it was a bunch of barrels put together. But Yeah, as I drink it, there's more and more coming out. It's like now I'm getting tropical fruits. I'm getting like a little lime. I'm getting... Like coconut, I don't know, there's like so much unfolding there. It's uh, it's really good. Mm, okay. I see some of those more fruits in my second sip there too. Yep. So let's go ahead and rate it. On the nose, where you at? <laughs> Thumbs up. 
This yeah. one's gonna be easy. There's there's just no like you can't you can't say this is like something like this would be like I said, put in a Yankee candle. That's what I want to put. Yep. On the taste. Sideways. No, I'm kidding. Ah, yeah, <laughs> I was like fake out there. Yeah. No way. And on the finish. Thumbs up. It's all just lingering there. It's not like spicy or blow you away, but there's just so much like goodness it's in there. This is a whiskey geek stream to be able to drink this. I, I can't agree more. Yeah. And at a high price tag, I really hope you enjoy it because it's definitely a fantastic, fantastic bourbon. Yep. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.